We're here today with Berkeley Bionics CEO, Athor Bender. Berkeley Bionics is a startup that has developed some amazing technology and is developing some amazing technology. Um, I, I would essentially call it robotic add-ons or wearable robots. Today we are, we are going to be taking a look at both Hulk and E-Legs. Can you tell me how, how does the technology work? How does the artificial technology behind, say, E-Legs, how does it work? How, how, is it, how is it reading bodily movement and how is it helping yeah. me to move forward? So what we are talking about here, I mean, the, there is obviously a difference between uh, Hulk and Elex. Elex, as it is designed now, is intended for rehabilitation only. So uh, this is not something that you will take with you home. We are not aiming at that until later on. What you have is that uh, the user, he uses crutches. And the crutches are actually smart crutches. So they have sensors in them. And as you move your crutch forward, it actually initiates the opposite leg to move. And uh, there's a computer here on the back that the crutch sends signal to. And uh, batteries here on both sides. And this really drives forward uh, these four motors. You have two here on the hips and two on the knees that drives it forward. And uh, you'll see afterwards as well that it's a very natural, smooth uh, gait. And, and either uh, way, how, how, much, how much does this weigh? This, this weighs uh, about 45, 50, 50 pounds. Okay. But the important thing is that but uh, still, you still don't feel it. But still full mobility and is, you don't you feel know, just it. kind of gracefully integrates. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And uh, the weight of the machine is completely transferred to the ground, so you don't really feel the weight. When can we expect to see this on the market, and is this going to be designed um, for, for public use? We are very excited that because it is completely non-invasive, this is not something that is attached to the brain or, or you need to, you know, your nerve signals to operate. Mm -hmm. It's completely non-invasive. Uh, therefore, uh, we are able to bring it relatively fast uh, into the hands of people. And uh, we are talking about the end of this year. We are already in uh, trials with about 10 clinics uh, around the U.S. who are all uh, uh, part of a a kind of major, uh, kind of investigational trial, we call it. And uh, the intention is that those 10 will have uh, at least one ELEX in each one of these centers as of early next year. So this is just around the corner. I wanted to ask you whether Hulk was primarily, you know, and I know that you've been in, you know, a partnership with Lockheed. Mm -hmm. And down the road, is it, is it going to be available? Do you see it being available and, and useful beyond a military application? Absolutely, um, absolutely. It has such a, a wide application in a way that uh, it's impossible to say. We, we call, our vision is really bionics doing. for everyone. Mm -hmm. And that includes uh, uh, military, uh, it includes medical, but pretty much everybody uh, in, in between. Industries, uh, you can imagine postal workers, you can imagine uh, for the, the fire, uh, those who are uh, the firemen, and then just uh, people who uh, like to continue skiing, but they have this issue with the knee because they, they, they hurt mm -hmm. themselves sometimes, but are, are still very young and uh, there's no reason to stop. So the machine's totally off right now. And one of the cool things about the way the Hulk works is that even when it's off, it supports its own weight. And really what all the energy is going to is kind of coordinating the gate structure and then putting power into you as you get going. Excellent. So it, even though the, I've got the controller disabled, I'm going to take you off the hook here. Okay. You know, nice and exciting. Um, <laughs> I'm unhooked. You are unhooked. Uh, the machine the basically is designed that if it's not putting power into you, it won't impede you. So what you can actually do is walk a little bit. And believe it or not, like, you just kind of like having ankle weights on right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is, uh, this is great. This is easy. So you wouldn't even think that you actually have 65 pounds on right now, just in terms of the machine weight itself. No, not at all. So that's a, a lot of the technology just goes into understanding the structure. This feels lightweight. I mean, this, you know, this is about as much weight as I'm carrying you know, in my hair up here. All right, so I just turned it on to beginner mode. So okay. you, now the motors are going to kick just a little bit. So if you pick a leg up, you'll feel it. Oh, yeah. And it makes it just a little bit lighter. Oh, that is so cool. So, so, so I'm, now, I'm now feeling a little uh, less weight in my legs. I'm, I'm feeling like I could just hop into a couple jumping jacks right now. I've got pretty amazing mobility. Um, and you know, really not feeling too much weight here. Yeah. 
course. You look like you're pretty good though, so I'll turn it up a notch. We'll see how you can kick it up. And high agility. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get right into high gear. High agility. All right. Oh, wow. Ooh. So usually this would be, I put this much weight on somebody after a couple hours, but you're doing pretty good, so you know. Well, we'll, thanks, we'll see I, I appreciate that. Yeah, Kurt, you know, immediately puts this on other people. You know, I'm, so, yeah, I'm, you know. He's, you again, like as I said, these, these chicken legs are, you know, not built to carry a lot of weight. This is, this is pretty amazing. I mean, I'm, you know, not the strongest guy in the world, but I do not feel like, how, how, So that's how about a 50 pound pack that you got on. a 50 pound pack, plus the, plus the weight of yeah, the Yeah, plus the machine. So, well, this, this is awesome, man. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. I've, I, again, I, I, you know, this is my first Iron Man experience. Yeah. I'm finally, you know, finally in the realm of comic book heroes.